This time, Team Omani are going to check out some of the most well-known temples in Bangkok. Showing you around Wat Arun, Wat Ratchanadharam, and Wat Po. Experience the serene tranquility and stillness. Explore the temple grounds and see some of the most beautiful architecture in all of Bangkok. You can't truly understand Thailand until you've experienced these amazing Buddhist temples for yourself. Your own personal Bangkok temple tour adventure starts now. Here we have a Thai Buddha and you can see the traditional offering given of Fanta. The temples are only a 25 minute walk from our hotel on Khao San Road. So we're going to brave the heat and explore some of the streets of Bangkok on the way. Are you ready to go? We're on our way to Wataroon, but we found a Thai park gym. So we're gonna have a look around and have some fun and get really hot and sweaty. After our super intense workout, we actually ended up passing by Wat Po, so we decided to check this Thai Buddhist temple out first. Wat Po is one of the largest and oldest temples in Bangkok, existing even before Bangkok was established as the capital of Thailand. It's thought that the original temple was built around 1688, but it was renovated by King Rama I in 1788. Wat Po was the first public university in Thailand specialising in religion, science and literature. Students were taught through murals and sculptures, which have been recognised by UNESCO in its Memory of the World programme. The temple grounds of Wat Po contained four great chedis, which are 42 metres high and were built to commemorate the reigns of King Rama I to King Rama IV. There are also 91 smaller chedis, which are decorated with ceramic pottery flowers. 71 of the smaller chedis contain the ashes of the royal family, and 20 slightly larger chedis, clustered in groups of five, contain relics of the Buddha. So, I'm legitimately crying right now. This is just incredible, it's so beautiful here. You just keep walking and you turn a corner and you're just gobsmacked by how incredible this is. I don't know if you can see behind me, but there's just spires and spires and spires. So if you're in Bangkok, come to Wapo, it is insanely gorgeous. Who's this jaunty comedy duo? No, it's not Laurel and Hardy, but rather a pair of stone representations of the Venetian merchant and explorer Marco Polo, who was one of the first Westerners to enter China after travelling through Asia along the Silk Road between 1271 and 1295. The entrance fee for Wat Po is 100 baht, and since this is a holy place, you'll need to wear appropriate clothing. So cover your shoulders and don't wear shorts above the knee. The name Wat Po refers to the monastery in India where the Buddha was said to have gained enlightenment and perhaps unsurprisingly this is the home to one of the largest collections of images of the Buddha in all of Thailand. Wat Po is also known as the Temple of the Reclining Buddha because it houses one of the largest Buddha statues in all of Thailand. The Reclining Buddha at Wat Po is 15 metres tall, 46 metres long and covered in gold leaf. 
the statue was made to show the Buddha lying on his deathbed and became so iconic that it spawned many other reclining Buddha statues across the region. There are 108 bronze bowls lining the corridor, which represent the 108 auspicious characters of Buddha. If you're in need of some good fortune, you can purchase coins at the entrance to drop into these bowls. But even if your wishes don't come true, your donation helps the monks to maintain the temple. Wat is pretty huge, so make sure you give yourself a couple of hours to explore it all. The next stop on our Bangkok temple tour is Wataroon, so we're taking a quick ferry ride across the river. We are at Wataroon, which is also known as the Temple of Dawn. It's just across the river from Wat Po, and it's one of the most well-known tourist attractions in Bangkok. It's a Buddhist temple that gets its name from the Hindu god Aruna, who is the personification of the glow of the rising sun. I'm guessing this is because uh, when the sun rises, the light reflects off the temple behind us, and it gives a beautiful glow. Getting here is pretty easy. You can cross the Chao Phraya River by ferry from Tatian Pier, which costs around five baht, so it's very, very cheap. And because Wat Po is so close, you can hit both temples in the same day and have a nice temple tour for yourself in Bangkok. Now we're going to show you around, so let's go! Demons stand guard over the temple. Everywhere you look, there are these beautiful, elaborate and often colourful buildings. There's lots of Buddha statues, as you might expect from a Buddhist temple. Everything is really ornate and covered in gold. I give you this bracelet as a blessing in exchange for some money. Thank you very much. Got to pay for all this gold. Uh, don't look now, but there's a tourist filming behind you. I said don't look now. Blessing, 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 blessing. The pagoda was built in 1768, but there's been a temple on this site since the 14th century. The temple was located in the grounds of the royal palace during Taksin's reign before his successor, Rama I, woke up one day, decided he didn't really like the palace where it was and moved it to the other side of the river. It was abandoned for a long period of time until the reign of King Rama II, who had the temple restored and the main pagoda raised to 70 metres. The main pagoda is said to be an architectural representation of Mount Meru, which is the centre of the universe in Buddhist cosmology. It's decorated with ornate seashells, porcelain and shards of colourful glass. There's a lot of steps at Wataroon, so if you're not so mobile you might have trouble getting up there, but you can see most of the pagoda from the ground level and it's still really beautiful. We could have stayed staring at Wataroon all day, but we still had one stop to complete on our trilogy of Bangkok temples. It was time to head over to Wat Ratchanathuram. We sped through the crazy Bangkok streets, heading for Wat Ratchanathuram at breakneck speed, and then sat in traffic for ages. 
Eventually, we gave up waiting and just got out and walked the rest of the way, weaving in and out of Bangkok's thousands of motorbikes. Wat Ratchanataram is the temple of the royal niece and is also known as Loha Prasat, which means Iron Castle or Iron Temple. Reaching 36 metres into the sky, Loha Prasat was built in 1846 at the request of King Rama III to honour his granddaughter, princess and later queen, Somanat Ratanaudi. The highest level holds a relic of Buddha and the roof features 37 golden spires that signify the 37 steps to enlightenment. These are mindfulness of body, mindfulness of sensations, awareness of mind, meditation on the Dhamma, not to let unwholesome thought arise which is not yet arisen, not to let unwholesome thought continue which has already arisen, to make a wholesome thought arise which is not yet arisen, to make a wholesome thought continue which is already arisen, desire, energy, consciousness, investigation, faith, energy, mindfulness, concentration, wisdom, faith, energy, mindfulness, concentration, wisdom. Haven't we already had these? Right understanding, right thought, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness, right concentration, mindfulness, investigation, mental phenomena, energy, joy, tranquility, concentration, equanimity. Enlightenment not guaranteed. Your results may vary. Please contact your local Buddhist practitioner. Again, you need to dress modestly for this holy place, so make sure your shoulders and knees are covered. Uncovered heads and toes are fine. The entrance fee is only 20 baht, and you can learn a lot about Buddhist teachings, values, and the history of the temple by wandering through the alleys. Wat Rajanataram was modelled after similar metal temples built in India and Sri Lanka more than 2,000 years ago, but it's the only one of its kind that still exists today. As you explore Wat Rajanataram, you'll notice that each walkway has a beautiful symmetry and there's a Buddha statue at every end. Inside the temple is so peaceful and tranquil, which is a huge contrast to the busy traffic of Bangkok outside. Once you've climbed Wat Ratchanataram's huge spiral staircase onto the temple roof, you'll be rewarded with a closer look at the spires. They're somehow even more impressive up close. We ended our Bangkok temple tour here with a great view of the city skyline. Thanks for coming along with us. If you like this video and want to see more of the world with us, make sure to hit subscribe. And if you want to find out the best places to visit, most delicious foods to eat and coolest things to do in your travels, click the link in the description to sign up to our mailing list on teamomani.com. And be sure to check out our other videos. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.